Hi, are you dying to shop or will your shopping cause dying? I'm Esther Libman, a family doctor in Thornhill, and I'm creating this video to help you shop for groceries safely during COVID-19. In addition, I will talk about masks and gloves and how to take them off safely so you do not contaminate yourself with this virus. I will also give you tips on how to keep your hands soft, soft as soft hands. I can't think of any metaphors right now. I'm pretty tired. It's air of Pesach and I'm doing a video instead of cooking, but I digress. Today is April 5th, 2020, and keep that in mind if you are watching this video significantly after this date as the information that I'm giving you right now is evolving quickly and it may lose its accuracy. As you know, COVID-19 is a droplet spread virus, which means it can spread locally up to about two meters or six feet. It is not airborne, although both airborne viruses and droplet spread both go into the air. But with airborne, airborne viruses, they keep going and they can travel through the air currents, but droplet ones drop and they drop fairly uh, at a close uh, diameter and that's why we're talking about about six feet. This distinction allows us to tailor the advice you need to stay safe. So if you are over six feet or two meters, you cannot breathe it in. The other way you catch this, if you touch a contaminated surface and then touch your face. This is a danger, of course, if you're shopping and you do not know what's contaminated. So naturally, we have to regard all surfaces as contaminated. There is no danger in touching COVID-19. It can't go through your hands, even if you have a cut on your hands. You need to bring that hand to your face. The average person touches their face 23 times per hour. So you have to pretend someone is paying you a million dollars not to touch your face. You can do this. The CDC is now recommending that everyone cover their nose and mouth when they go shopping. When masks become very available, it is easiest to wear them. But right now, I would prefer people do not buy the masks just because the, the uh, physicians and people who care for others uh, who cannot have the luxury of social distancing, they do need the masks more. But people can be creative. They can make their own mask with elastic bands and folding cloths, and we see this on the internet. Uh, or they can wear a bandana or they can wear a scarf over their, their mouth and face. And this is really preventing your germs from going to others. And if everybody else does the same in the store, then there's going to be less COVID germs in the air. I also recommend wearing gloves. Gloves protect your hands from excessive hand washing. So if you do have a mask, and I, that's when I'm, I'm sure they, when they become more freely available, I'm just going to show you how to, turn, how to put it on. Okay, so the mask actually has a top, uh, a top part which is, which is flexible. That's what's going to mold around your nose. The bottom one doesn't have it. So first you're going to have clean hands or uh, gloves on your hands that are clean. And then you're just going to hook it behind your ears and then you're going to press your nose like that. And now that you've touched your face, you have to wash your hands or wash the gloves if you were wearing them, and that way everything will be clean. I'm now just gonna remove it when you are, when you come home and you wanna remove it, you just start from the elastics behind the ears, and then you can put it on a paper towel and uh, with the, uh, the dirty side face down. And, and if you can have three or four masks, then you can rotate them. After about a day or two, any germ that was on the outside of that mask will die. And then your next uh, mask you'll use, and then what, by the time that, that fourth mask is ready to be used, it is actually completely clean. There are no germs left on it. So once you have your, your mask and your gloves on, now you are ready to go shopping. Try to shop when the store is least busy. Uh, I do the shopping in our household of two. My husband is a few years older than I am. So that makes me the, the sacrificial lamb and how apropos for Pesach. Uh, I would like you to think that all services you will touch to get your groceries from your own steering wheel to the shopping cart to every carton of milk you touch, it can't get you if you do not touch your face. And also, I would like you to think that everyone you meet has COVID-19, uh, so keep six feet away uh, from everybody that you encounter. Now, some people think, one second, hold on, I am in line with somebody else. They are six feet in front of me. They're about my height. They are exhaling the COVID-19 germs, and as I approach from behind them, I'm gonna be breathing in those germs. Can't I catch it that way? Great question. I love when I make up the question and call it great because when you are doing the video, you have an awful lot of power. So it is a great question, but this is a droplet spread virus and the droplets stop quickly. So if 
that person in front of you had chicken pox, which is an airborne uh, virus. And if you never did have chicken pox, yes, you could catch chicken pox from that person who was walking in front of you. But this is not airborne, so that means you can walk right after that person and not catch this condition. If you must touch your face while you're in the shopping uh, in the shopping store, uh, have a hand sanitizer. So that way, if you've got your gloves, you put the hand sanitizer on, touch your face, and then as punishment, you have to sanitize your hands again, and then you go back to your shopping. Some people will sanitize their hands before they get back into the car. I don't. I wait till I get home and I wash my gloved hands as soon as I get in. For the foods that you will not need for three days, just put them away. The FDA says there is no current evidence of any uh, food packaging transmitting any diseases at all. But I think it's reasonable with this abundance of, of caution that, that we might want to consider washing down some hard surfaces like let's say uh, let's see, cashew butter or if you have a can of tuna you can wash that down and people say what should we wash it down with. This is a virus that is, it has a little fat on its external shell and it is very easily killed, very easily killed by normal soap and water. So I buy some palm olive, um, get it at Costco, and, uh, and it does a, a beautiful job for, for COVID-19. But any soap would do. Uh, I don't have any uh, conflicts to declare, but if palm olive or Costco would like to uh, uh, provide some money for this video, I will declare my conflict of interest if I should do another video. Do not attempt to wash any cardboard uh, packages like uh, matzo meal or sugar that's in like hard paper or, or salt. Uh, instead, what I usually do, and I do this every year because it's easier, I think, I just pour these uh, these box things into, into containers and then it's easier for me to cook. So if you do need this box thing right away, open it up, dump it in a container. I do that for my salt, I do that for my sugar. Uh, once, the, uh, once the groceries are put away, you wash down your counter with some soap and water, and uh, and then uh, and and also I wash the uh, uh, the handles of my fridges and uh, and you know any doorknobs, and then I feel I'm good to go. Now, regarding these recyclable bags, do not wash them. Read a book instead. That is why they call us people of the book. They don't call us people of the bag washers. Put those bags into quarantine for about three days all the viral particles will be gone by then and then you can use them again. And if you have used up all your bags because they're all in quarantine, then buy some new bags so you can always have bags in quarantine and out of quarantine. The only reason why you should ever say that you're going to be washing bags if you are living at home with little children and your spouse is there too and you are going crazy. So then you're allowed to say the following, Honey, can you look after all our children for a long time? I'm going to be washing bags and then go read a book, perhaps near the bags in case your husband comes looking for you. If you are shopping for online groceries, that's a great idea, especially if you're elderly or if you're immunocompromised in any way. So follow these tips. Avoid a direct handoff. Arrange to have the items delivered to your doorstep. After the driver leaves, go, in, you know, go, to, go to your door, your porch, uh, with your gloves on, take in the package. If you don't need it for three days, let it sit there. If you do need it, with your gloved hands on, open up the package and take out whatever you need. If it is, as you know, hard kind of things, you can give it a little wash if you need it. If you don't need it, just put it away. Now, to remove gloves. So if you have the gloves on, and let's say your hands are dirty, even though you could always just wash your gloves before, before uh, taking them off, but let's say gloves are dirty and you want to uh, uh, take them off. Okay, so dirty, dirty, you're going to pinch this, pull it off, so now dirt against dirt, clean hand, and then you toss it. Trust me, there's a garbage right on the floor there. Okay, now clean hand, you're gonna sneak this under the other glove, so now we have clean against clean, and we take that off, and there's a garbage on the other side too, trust me. Okay, now we have clean hands and we're done. A few final tips. You are stuck with all those people who you are living with and you are sharing all those germs. Do not bring any new nostrils into your home. That means uh, the people that are attached to those nostrils. Only keep your own household members of the family, for example, when you are doing the satyrs. Don't, don't introduce any other new germs into your household. The risk is just too great. There is no evidence that vitamin C or zinc or any of these other remedies that are very uh, commonly uh, advertised on the internet, 
None of them work, none of them. What does work is being as healthy as you can be. Eat a balanced diet and get regular exercise and sleep. That will help your immune system. So now let's do a summary. Okay, you're gonna stay six feet or two meters away from people then you can't breathe it in. You're going to wear a mouth and nose cover when you're outside. You're gonna put your gloves on and wash your, your hands very often in your gloves so your hands can stay nice and soft. Uh, don't touch your face when your hands could be possibly contaminated. It is doubtful that packaging can transmit viruses, but wash items you need right away with soap and water if they have a hard surface, and empty any cardboard packages into any plastic containers, and wash your counters with some soap and water uh, after you are finished. Keep your bags in quarantine for three days. Do online shopping as much as possible. Do not bring in new nostrils, and of course that means the people attached to those nostrils into your home, so satyrs are household contacts only. Stay healthy with good eating and exercise. Unfortunately, no known alternative remedies have demonstrated any efficacy uh, for this COVID-19. Every time you want to buy something like that, go for a run, come back, wash an apple, and eat it. Stay safe. I would blow you a kiss, but hey.